uh, I wanted to get into today. I, I think that this, this whole issue of policing, we are now, in fact, I, I should just check and see if anything has happened here in the last, like, you know, 10 minutes or 15 minutes on, uh, on this uh, killing or this shooting of, of Mr. Brown in uh, North Carolina, Andrew Brown uh, Jr. And uh, it, yes, it turns out that what's happened is that the FBI has said that they're going to open a civil rights investigation. Um, so, uh, you know, when, when is it time? Is it not now time to stop the slave patrol policing? We're the only country that has this as our legacy. The, yes, slavery was legal in other countries. It existed in other countries. A lot of other countries, and particularly European countries, have made a lot of money on the slave trade. But the epicenter of it all was the United States, and particularly the American South. And to have slavery, you must have a police state. You must have absolute brutality. And that's what we had here, and that's what we still have here with our policing. I mean, Andrew Brown Jr., he, his, uh, his family is saying that uh, the deputies were executing a search warrant. They said, uh, you know, he's, he's a felon. And it turned out he, he has, actually has a misdemeanor conviction for drug possession, like, you know, big whoop. Um, his lawyer, uh, Mr. Crump, said, let's be clear, this was an execution. This was a day after Derek Chauvin was convicted. And a day after 16-year-old Makia Bryant was fatally shot by a police officer in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, Chantel Sherry Lassiter, one of the, uh, one of the attor attorneys, she says seven to eight deputies swarmed his car with their guns drawn, shooting at him while yelling, let me see your hands. He Trying to evade the bullets. He kept his hands on the wheel, by the way. Dr Brown backed his car into a tree. Uh, this uh, attorney says who saw the tape, says there was no time in the 20 seconds that we saw when he was threatening the officers in any kind of way. His son, Khalil Faraby, says my dad just got executed just trying to save his own life. He got executed. And now Mayor Betty Parker has declared a state of emergency for Elizabeth City, uh, the county seat, on Monday morning, uh, uh, yesterday morning. Uh, seven deputies at the scene who have not been named have been placed on administrative leave. The chief, Chief Deputy Daniel Fogg, he says, Brown was a convicted felon. Uh, turns out, like I said, he'd been previously convicted of misdemeanor drug possession. Those who watched the encounter told local media, this from, uh, from the Washington Post, by the way, a piece by Jim Morrison and company. Uh, that he got into his car and started driving, to drive away, and that's when neighbors say the deputies started shooting. One neighbor collected 14 shell casings. So what are we going to, uh, what are we going to figure this out, that this doesn't work? You know, that the, 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 the slave patrol policing technology technique and the hyper-militarization of our military, which started in the 19, late 1980s under Reagan, with his uh, 1099 or whatever the number uh, is for the program, where the, where the Defense Department gave, uh, quote, surplus equipment to police departments. And then uh, defense contractors started producing huge amounts of that surplus equipment. So they, so here in the United States, in order to be a cop, on average, it varies from place to place and locale to locale, but on average across the United States, you need a high school diploma and 21 weeks of training. Last year, Police in the United States killed an average of three people a day, 1,004 people. In Finland, it requires a three-year college degree to become a police officer. And, well, last year we killed over a thousand, our police killed over a thousand people in Finland during a, an 18-year period, 2000 to 2018, the last dates for which there are statistics, seven people were killed by the police in 18 years. In Norway, they require three years of college to become a police officer. Between 2002 and 2016, they had four fatalities caused by the police. In Germany, two years of training to become a police officer. 267 people have died by police shooting in 31 years.
since 1990. 267 people. We're killing 1,000 people a year, or at least our police are. What is wrong with this country? And then on top of that, <laughs> we've got uh, five different Fox News personalities saying, oh my God, you're only gonna be able to eat one hamburger a year if, if Joe Biden's infrastructure package passes. So we go from, you know, violent, wild, awful, real life crazed stuff, you know, killing of people by police officers, particularly people of color, to absolute screaming BS. It's all over our media. You're listening to the